In this video, we're going to be solving even more algebraic equations, starting with this first one. 8 minus 5 times the absolute value of the quantity 2x minus 23 equals negative 42. Now, since this is, this is an absolute value equation, the first thing you need to do is to isolate the absolute value. So we're going to do that by first subtracting 8 on both sides of the equation. So now we have negative 5 times the absolute value of the quantity 2x minus 23 is equal to negative 50. And now we need to get rid of the negative 5. And so we can do that by dividing both sides by negative 5. So we have the absolute value of 2x minus 23 is equal to, on the right side, we have positive 10. Now that we have the absolute value by itself, we need to separate into our two smaller equations. So one of those equations will be 2x minus 23 is equal to positive 10. Or your other equation is taking the stuff that's inside the absolute value, 2x minus 23, oops, minus 23, equals negative 10. So make sure that whenever you're copying from one step to the next, like I did here, make sure you copy it correctly. One small mistake like that can ruin the whole problem. Now that you have these two smaller, or these two separate linear equations, you solve them like you always do. So add 23 on both sides here, which will coincidentally be the same step that you take for the other equation. So we have 2x is equal to 33. And then over here, 2x is equal to positive 13. Then you divide both sides over here by 2. And that's the same step we have to take on the right side, or on the, the right equation. So x is equal to 33 halves, or x is equal to 13 halves. So as we've seen several times when it comes to absolute value equations, get the absolute value by itself, separate into the two equations, solve them, and come up with your answers. Now let's look at the next guy. Oh, it's got everybody's favorite, fractions. So we understand that we have something that is quadratic. We see the x squared right here. And then what we want to do is that we want to um, rewrite this so we don't have the fractions just by multiplying everything times the LCD. So when we look at these denominators, the LCD for all of this is 12. Okay, so let's multiply everything here times 12. And we can write this as 12 over 1. Maybe that makes it a little bit easier for us to see what to do. So on the left side here, this 4 is going to reduce with the 12 to give us 3. So 3 times 3x squared gives me 9x squared. Let's see. 12 goes into 12 once. So we get 7x. And 6 goes into 12 twice. And we have minus 2. And of course, 12 times 0 is 0. Now, we hope that this guy factors. So maybe we just find a, you know, scratch piece of paper. And let's see if we can try to factor this. All right, so let's see. I'm going to use a pencil. I just kind of like doing that sometimes. So if I look at this. So 9x squared plus 7x minus 2. And I'm trying to factor this. Let's see that fact. Let's see that. Yep, let's try that again. Uh, instead of using pencil because of the way the light is, um, it's probably best that we use a pen here for you. There we go. Yeah, a lot easier to see now. So the AC method would say to do 9 times 2. So 9 times 2 is 18. And can you find factors of 18 that are going to subtract to give you 7? Well, that would just be 9 times 2, right? 
So now we're going to take that and we're going to rewrite that middle term, that plus 7x using 9 and 2. And so we can say plus 9x and minus 2x. So now we have four terms so that we can factor by grouping. Okay, so in the first group, the common factor, the greatest common factor here is 9x. So we factor that out. And we have x plus 1. In the second group, we lead off with a negative, so that's going to be part of our common factor. Both of these guys have a common factor of 2, so we're going to factor out that negative 2. And we have x plus 1. So now we can finish factoring by grouping. And this gives us x plus 1 times 9x minus 2. So that's how that polynomial factors. So let's take the factorization that we did on this extra piece of paper and let's uh, put that in. All right? So this factors as x plus 1 times 9x minus 2. And it's a good use of your time to take this factorization and multiply it back out just to make sure that everything does or that you did factor everything correctly paying attention to your signs. All right, so using the zero factor theorem, x plus one is equal to zero, or from the other factor, nine x minus two is equal to zero. Solving for x, x is equal to negative one from here. There we go. Or from here, you first need to move the two to the other side and then divide both sides by nine. So our other solution is x is equal to 2 over 9. All right, there you go. So with each of these equations, you know, the first one with the absolute value, we recognize it's an absolute value equation. Get the absolute value by itself and then separate into the two answers or to the two equations, excuse me. And then here, before we could really do anything with that quadratic, we clear away the fractions. And once the fractions are cleared away, we look at this polynomial and we think about what can we do to solve this. Instead of just going straight to the quadratic formula, we recognize that this is something that can factor. And so we factor that on a separate piece of paper, put our factorization here, and then we're able to finish by solving, or finish this, finish solving this, excuse me, uh, by using the zero factor theorem.